With extreme sadness, um, I've been informed of the death of the legendary Don Cornelius. And in the background, I'm going to allow you to listen to a snippet from the show. Wilson, you know what it's fine. No, he's the um, supreme with the most seniority. Thank you. I'm so happy you said it like that, Don. <laughs> Usually they say something else. <laughs> I'm going to give you a close-up view of the Soul Train line, the fan Soul Train yes. line. And before we do, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? What do you do for kicks? For kicks? I sing. <laughs> no, really. Um, I like to do a lot of things. I like to swim. I love to bowl. Uh, we play cards quite a bit. I'm not very good at that. Mm -hmm. Usually Jean beats me. And I wish I could join the Soul Train line. Well, you think I could do that? Yeah. <laughs> no, yes, yes. I, mean, I think you just, just about can. everybody knows, you know. Do you really want to join the social media? Yes, I do. I, I don't know what to do, but you I would love to join. You want to do that, I'm going to put you in there. Okay. I'm going to put you in there. You don't have to dance with anybody. Right? Everybody's okay. waving their hand. Right? <laughs> she don't dance with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, that's Mary from the Supremes. Um, Don Cornelius was uh, interviewing ha her um, on one of his segments. But here I read. Um, Don Cornelius, Soul Train creator, dead at age 75. Soul Train creator Don Cornelius was found dead in his Los Angeles home early Wednesday morning. That's today. He was pronounced dead after the Los Angeles Fire Department transferred him to a nearby hospital. Further reads, Officer Sarah Faden of the Los Angeles Police um, Department told the Washington Post Cornelius was 75. Okay, um, He was pronounced dead after a deadly gunshot wound, self-inflicted, um, at about 4.56 a.m at the Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles County. This is really, really sad news um, for me, particularly because I, I really, um, I love the Lord and I believe that only what we do for Christ will last. Um, many struggle with depression, uh, many struggle with self-love and personal defeat um, I don't know what drives people to that dark corner because I've not been there. So I don't know how heavy it is, how dark it is, how deep it is. But I know that it's not dark enough to cancel out the light of Christ. It's not deep enough that Christ can't reach you. And it's not so heavy that you can't be lifted out of it. So right now I just want to give my condolences to the family. Um, I cry to the heavens to receive him. Um, I understand that suicide is of extreme condemnation, but um, God, but God, that's what I say um, in that. Um, only what you do for Christ will last. So that means that um, he didn't call us to create life. We're co-creators. And he did not call us to take it away. Not our own, not anyone else's. And the difficult part about suicide, hear me people, the difficult part about suicide is this. Um, how many get the opportunity to say, I repent and I'm sorry before death actually takes place? Once you've inflicted it, how fast is it? I mean, you've got to be able to repent. You've got to be able to say within a second, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me, what have I done? And at any moment, we have that kind of God. He will scoop you up and he will forgive you. But suicide is highly condemnable. And I want to tell you something. I don't, um, let me say this. My heart goes out to the family and I cry to the heavens to receive him, to grab him up and to give him his final resting place. But right about now, this message is directly to those who are, are depressed, who are sinking, who feel self-defeated, who are broken, who feel afraid, who are in fear, those who feel unloved, abandoned. Hey, listen, I have had enough um, heartbreaks in my lifetime. 
um, not always necessarily respected to relationships, but sometimes we we disappoint ourselves, you know, we, we don't feel good about our own selves for whatever reason. But whatever it is, I don't know if it's drugs, I don't know if it's alcohol, I don't know if it's a broken heart, I don't know if you've been raped, I don't know if, if, if the enemy is so heavy on your trails that you don't know which way to turn. But I do need you to hear me and to know this, that God is God all by himself. He can do all things but fail. And there is no such thing as a storm that lasts forever. And there's no such thing as a dead end so long as you can turn around. So wherever you are in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your, your struggle, hear me please. Turn around. About face. Believe. Trust God. Hold on to a hair strand a hair strand of faith you don't need an ounce more a mustard seed you don't need an ounce more listen god loves every one of us every one of us and there is no alley no valley no mountain nothing too deep nothing too high that can keep him away from us if you are struggling and you're depressed reach out for help call someone Get counseling. Talk to your pastor. Talk to your friend or your neighbor's pastor. You understand? Go to a hospital. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't destroy your destiny. Don't take life away. You're not responsible for being here. Trust me, God knows what your mission is. And everything that you go through, even when it's painful events after painful events, it is absolutely an opportunity for you to take opposition and use it to be a fisher of men, to help someone else, to pull someone else out. I know you may be saying, but, you know, I can't even get out. How am I going to help the next person? Listen, no one can estimate or underestimate what God is capable of doing willing to do and is planning to do in all things in life the good the bad and the indifference the glory belongs to God he wants the glory out of all situations this is why um, he says to forgive one another to forgive your brother and to love one another to love those who are even difficult to love because in doing these things you know um, pain may endure for a night but the joy comes in the morning you understand that when you surrender your own flesh, your own will, and your own pain to God, and you count it all joy, that means that no matter what happens, you keep the joy of your Lord, the, the joy of the Lord. It keeps you strong. It keeps you going on. It keeps you moving forward. Trust me, I don't know what you're going through. I have gone through so much in my own time in limited space, my limited time in limited space, um, but I've had unlimited opportunity because of God you understand he can take what you see as a doom and gloom and make you bloom but you have to give him a chance don't take your own life don't do it my heart goes out um, my, my heart bleeds I'm broken for uh, this man at 75 years old to decide it's so bad that I need to take a gun if this is truly what happened and end it all the devil is a liar you have value you are precious priceless live if you can hear me and you're depressed if you can hear me and you're broken if you can hear me hear this don't give up don't give in I mean in one moment I was just sitting here um, discussing weight loss and all the things to do to empower your body. And truly as we're here, God calls us to balance that we are to empower our mind, body, and spirit. But it's really important, even with stress, it's, I'm telling you, there is a way to live so that you can eliminate things that take place as a result of kind of just existing rather than living. 
Becoming one simply means becoming whole. It simply means that, you know what? I feel fragmented. I feel broken. But if I don't do something about it, I can't expect the next person to do it. So, if you find yourself in a low state, in a lull, feeling poorly, crying, just can't get out of a rut, one of the first things you can do is get up. I mean, what is that song? Get back up again. We fall down, but we fall down, but we fall down, but we get up. Get back up. Get up from there. Don't stay down. Don't stay down. When you think about boxing, the whole goal is to knock the opponent out. And he needs to stay down long enough that he's no longer... Um, He's no longer eligible for the fight. This is the good fight of faith. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow your car to be revoked by killing yourself. Don't allow um, your eligibility to expire by ending it all. Get back up again. You may fall down, but get back up. You may weeble and wobble, but get back up again. Get your balance. Dust off your cloak and get your balance and your strength together. You know, cry to the hills from where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. All you have to do is use this. There is life and death in the power of the tongue. And the tongue is only an illustrative image of what's going on in here. You've got to be ye renewed by the transforming. You could, let me reverse that. You've got to be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And even the reverse, be renewed by the transformation of your mind. Your mind must come from the low, from the valley, from the gutter. Level up so you can level out. You understand what I'm saying? Life isn't, a, isn't about living in a ditch. It's about standing firm. Just stand when you've got nothing left to do. Just stand. Please, 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 please hear me. That you're loved by those who know you and those who don't and those who will come to know you. Love is the force that rules the universe. And it begins with self. Get up every day and look in the mirror and say, I am love. I love love and I love me. Begin there. God is inside of you. He is the light. He is the compass to your feet. Do you understand that? He lights your path. He'll give you a way out of no way. He'll give you a ram in the bush. He'll give you a, a great escape. Trust me. Trust him. Pull on any word that you have in you and by all means go get some more get yourself a steady bible and rely on it again my heart goes out to the family of don cornelius to his fans to those who watched the soul train those who participated every artist that was blessed to come across his floor he established artists right there on the soul train and so um ending this i'm gonna you know turn on one of the uh, videos in the background so you can hear his voice yet again um, as I play Fire it up. Fire up. I say there Ricky Rick oh, James have a lot of bless energy. his soul oh, it's that vitamin E I think <laughs> vitamin E is very different okay what's the new deal well as you see we have changed our image y'all like my new image? You can Google Rick James versus Don Cornelius to see this directly. Thanks for listening. God bless you.